This exhibition, 100 Names, uh, is by Chinese artist Chen Cho Lin. Uh, it's the first exhibition of her work that she's had in Australia. And uh, the project really tries to contextualise some of her photographs, video work and installation um, within some of the local history of the area that we're in right now, which is Sydney's Haymarket District. Um, Chen Cho Lin is probably best known for a series of videos and photographs which focus on um, the construction of the Three Gorges Dam in China and the subsequent impact that it's had on communities in the nearby area. Um, although this is probably her most prominent work, uh, I think in reality the breadth and kind of the sophistication of her practice is her attempts to highlight the experiences of Chinese communities that are otherwise probably neglected within the broader picture of contemporary Chinese culture. Uh, the title of the exhibition, 100 Names, is in response to an ongoing project by Chen Cho Lin, uh, which is 100 Names in Tofu, where the artist carves out of large blocks of tofu um, the 100 most prominent and popular Chinese surnames. Once those names have been carved, she, le she then allows them to decay over a period of time. This body of work is obviously really fascinating in terms of the kind of material quality of it. Um, the artist speaks about wanting to engage and utilise tofu as a medium as a way to think about the extensive history of China uh, and it being an ingredient that has been used for over 2,000 years. Um, specifically for this exhibition, we wanted to engage with this, on, this project of Chen Cho Lin's, but somehow try and incorporate it into the work that we do in Chinatown, which is trying to look at local histories and local narratives of migration. So, in consultation with the artist, uh, we developed our own kind of body of research which focused on the early Chinese migrants to Sydney's Haymarket district. I think one of the main interests for Chen Cho Lin and something that we wanted to address was actually looking at um, the impact of these massive events um, on individuals and specific communities. Um, you know, I think we're quite familiar with the impacts that um, development can have in places like China. However, we, over, we often kind of gloss over what it means for individuals and, and people on a very personal basis. So issues of migration are a key concern for Chen Cho Lin. Um, ideas of memory are always, are always prevalent in her work. And I think an attempt to create a connection between audiences and these people that are often marginalised within Chinese uh, contemporary kind of community. One of Chen Cho Lin's more um, recent inquiries, I guess, has been into the use of scent as a very evocative kind of um, uh, memory, I guess, or a way in, in order to activate memory. Um, similarly to the commission work on the ground floor, the scent installation upstairs was an attempt by the artist to connect with the history of the building that we're in at the moment, which is the corporation building, um, and it's kind of the many roles that it served over the years as a shop uh, for Paddy's Markets and also uh, an office for the, for the original gardens. So the artist has developed a number of smells that reflect and respond to those original functions that the building play and also thinks about how smell can be another way in which we think about um, certain movements and migration patterns throughout the region. So focusing on ingredients that originally would have come from China and were first grown in Paddy's Markets and kind of introduced Chinese culture in a way that hadn't been seen before. As part of this exhibition, 4A has commissioned a new work by Chen Cho Lin, which is a multi-channel video work um, accompanied by a mural. Um, the title of the work is 100 Names for Kuang Wai Chong, uh, and specifically looks at um, the role of one shopfront in Sydney's Haymarket area and the role that it played as a social and economic kind of uh, cornerstone for the, for the early Chinese community. Um, as part of this project, Chen Cho Lin um, located 15 uh, migrants from uh, southern China that came to Australia and using their surnames kind of developed her own research in Sichuan, in Sichuan province. Uh, so with those names she found other participants that, s that shared the same name in Chengdu and produced these uh, small documentaries based around traditional tofu ingredients as a way of kind of creating a psychic connection um, between the early migrants in Sydney and those still living in Chengdu today.